Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour uh, with the AAR mod as Italy. Uh, we are here in 1917, and, uh, you know, we're making very good progress. Uh, we're right outside of both Vienna and Berlin. Um, you can see here, that's kind of a little bug, it looks like, um, considering that Germany and Austria-Hungary have troops in Magdeburg, but they don't occupy it. Or it shows the French still occupies, but I'm sure if I unpause it, it'll change. But uh, it looks like a little bug there. Um, what I've been looking at is uh, some doctrines. I'm actually been looking towards the future after you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. One more time, you know. Uh, uh, after the Great War, A.K.A. World War One. Or just a world war. You never know if there's going to be a second war or not. But <laughs> I've been looking at these uh, doctrines here. I'm trying to either. I'm trying to figure out which one I should go to. Now. Does that deactivate any text? Okay, so that, okay, so that, that would deactivate all these texts down here. Okay. I've been thinking if I should go. If I should go through the traditional access or pretty much what it, what this would be is considered the German uh, Nazi Germany's doctrines this would be the Soviet uh, Russia's um, doctrines and this would technically be the uh, more the United States uh, route and then of course you got the defensive focus and this would technically be kind of your the great powers in Europe like France and Britain would probably be more aligned with this. I think Italy would have been more aligned with this as well. Um, the whole trench warfare thing. But I'm trying to been I've been thinking and I'm not sure which path to go through. Then think about maybe going more firepower focus uh focus. Uh, because I'm I don't have the manpower to spare when it comes to uh uh, to the Soviet doctrines, and I probably won't be using too much armor, even though I should, uh, with the Axis. And then, so maybe either going through the unified NATO doctrine, or maybe going for the def defensive focus. So either firepower focus or defense focus is what I'm thinking. Maybe even if it, the light infantry way would be best suited. Not sure, uh, but I've been thinking about that. So anyway, uh, since we're here, I'm going to actually research uh, one uh, the counterattack, which gives me 10% uh, uh, counterattack chance and also a 5% attack efficiency. And then I might go through the Shearer Punk Doctrine and then go Offensive Attrition which would lead us into the separate uh, separated arms focus there which would be a nice little bonus so it's going to be 30% uh, attack efficiency and then another 10% though I could go through the sheer punk uh, doctrine and then go to defensive attrition which gives me a delayed chance of 10% because if I go defensive and death that would give me an 8% chance and that's pretty much it so if I choose this this would be deactivated and vice versa and same with these two in retrospect so but anyway let's get that and then that's almost done which means okay so that's being researched right now it's only 7% okay since I just started that last vi at the end of the last video okay um, Kind of, we're kind of behind on we're well we're we're pretty much on schedule when it comes to regular infantry. Kind of behind on the uh, light mountain infantry. Um, of course, I'm behind on the aircraft. I should probably catch up on that. Uh, I'm sure the I'm, I'm pretty positive the aircraft will be uh, of great use. So anyway. Uh, let's get going right now because we got a lot to do alright so you can see I'm trying to 
pressed forward to Austria-Hungary territory. The weather is still pretty brutal. And something big is happening right now. I don't know what. Ah, the UFA di uh, directory. Okay. So the UFA directory right here declared war on the Soviet Union. Uh, I'm not sure how historical that is. And also, I'm not sure how much of a help they're going to be against the Soviets. Probably not too much of a help. Oh, by the way, here's the Volunteers Army. Uh, I guess they're making kind of a stride, but last time we looked at them, they I think only had one province, and then in this area, and then looks like they've been uh, expanding. But I'm sure that was left unguarded because one of the war they were, they, uh, they were involved in, and then um, everything else just fell in place or out of place in that aspect. Okay, so I got that done. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where I should be going. Could go. Eh, not too fussed about that. So hard to figure out what to do. Um, ooh, that would help. Alright, let's see if we can get this done. Okay, so vehicle engineering, medical science. I can only, looks like I can only get two of it. So, since, uh, damn it. I'm not sure which one's better suited, really. They're both skill of four. He's a five, but I can't, he's already done doing the counterattack, and he's pretty much uh, the best candidate for that. Armored, ca armored cars. Uh, okay, so that's okay. So I got that on the way. Um, I guess I could do. I could do. You know, the tack concept. So let's do that. Just to kind of fill some things in. All right. So you can see, my manpower is going down pretty bad. Um, Looks like I might have to enact general mobilization, which is not going to be very popular with the uh, with the general public. So I could always cut down on the upgrade right now, and then also on production. I don't need. I don't have anything to produce really. Cut that down. Probably could uh, do a support on attack here, and then four, four. Do I want to do four, 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 and leave two, two, three? That's, that's seven. And if I do this, that'd be twelve. All right, let's. I think that'd be good. You guys attack that now. secured and do that there there we go 32 now try to not take Vienna right away Obviously, that could be a struggle in itself. 
Alright, it looks like they're attacking. I'm not sure if they're attacking that. Or if they're attacking that. Alright, they're attacking that one. Okay, 45 against 8. Damn. Nope, oh, I took you in on accident. Oops. Oh well. Alright, so where's your new capital at? Preston. Okay. Ah, so <laughs> they didn't move it too far, it looks like. Alright, so I'm not too fussed about it. Um, try not to do that again. Oh well. Uh, what's done is done. Can I attack from there is the question. No, I cannot. Can I attack this? Yes, I can. So we'll move up here. Alright, so we're, we're pretty much in uh, the Czech Republic. What, what, well, what is the Czech Republic right now with these forces here? Alright. And then. Right now, they're right outside of Berlin, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so pushing forward. If I can make it there, maybe. I'll try to get. And Cut the, those three down. Um, okay, so I can attack there if I wanted to. Okay, so I'm not going to get out of there. I have to go through here. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll do that. Up the French out here. And then, hmm. And then we'll advance through here. And then try to swing up there. Just like that. Not sure if that'll be a good idea, but it's an idea nevertheless. Now let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, did that move all those guys there? Grr, get 21 divisions. Okay. Huh. Okay, I kind of figured that wouldn't work out. That's okay. So just stay there. And Berlin, I mean, the Germans are having a hard time getting supplied, so. That's all. None. Okay. Everybody's attacking now. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh. Carmano. Okay. Serbia, Bulgaria. Okay. So Serbia is free with only that one little province in Pirat. And then Albania has been released with Floor. What the hell? Oh, you idiot. Okay, so Bulgaria went with Armistice. Oh, shit. The French accepted peace with Austria-Hungary on the status quo. You French bastards. You sons of bitches. Oh. Shit. Okay, so... Austria-Hungary had the, uh... Also, Hungary had the Imperial Manifesto. And the Lasling Note. Which looks like it brought a unified. You know, it just brought Austria to the main picture instead of a uh, union of Austria Hungary. Now it just looks like Austria. And damn it, France. 
Okay, so we got Toronto. And that's it. That's all we're going to get is Toronto. Oh, all the kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes is released. You sons of bitches. Ay. You assholes. Fuck. Okay, so Bulgaria had the Treaty of Noli. Uh, Czechoslovakia had the provisional government, so Czechoslovakia is free. Poland has been released. I don't think Poland's at war, though. Yeah, they're not at war. They're only have, they have territorial claims in Germany, so... Okay, so Austria actually ended the uh, union with Hungary. Uh the personal union. Hungary is free, but Hungary pretty much took whatever territory Austria had. Okay. Um, France had Greece uh, proclaim annexation of northern Epirus. So Epirus is now part of Greece. And then looks like Albania gets some territory. Well, actually Albania does not get territory, so... It's just recognized that they recognize that Greece has it. Um, Hungary had the uh, outcome of the Great War, so they took the historical route. So now Romania is pretty much back to like where it was essentially. Um, and of course, I'm still getting war weariness. And here's all my troops here in Rome. They've been all strategically re redeployed because of what happened in that peace treaty that pretty much screwed me over. Fuck. Oh. And France had the peace. France accepts peace with Germany on the return to the status quo. Holy hell. Germany is huge. There is no way that would be considered a status quo. Hey. Oh, whatever. So Italy gets screwed over either way. By the allies. Fucking allied dogs. You bastards. Okay, so... Okay, so it's not that bad. Uh, free city of Danzig is free. Lithuania... Latvia, Estonia. So the Baltic states are pretty much free under a market liberal form of government. Uh, Poland's got a social liberal form of government. Uh, Soviet Union finally got rid of the volunteers army. And then... Uh, well, United Kingdom gave us the counterattack for free. So thank you. Um. <laughs> hey, that sucks. We got screwed. So the war ends in 1917 and not 1918 as it originally happened. Italy still gets screwed like the original tent. However, which the United States was not involved. So uh, Europe pretty much put itself back together um, by itself and not by outside influence. Actually, it probably didn't do too much of a damage it looks like. Okay, yeah, they, oh, uh, so they, oh, fuck. So France did impose a harsh condition of the, on the Treaty of Versailles. Never mind. So it, it will be, uh, pretty brutal. Okay, so it looks like we might have another war. Uh, Germany had a sailor's mutiny. Ger okay, and there was revolt spreads. Two republics are proclaimed. Wait, two republics are proclaimed, huh? I wonder what that would have been. Uh, creation of the Council of the People's Deputies. So Germany is going through a lot of uh, issues now. Uh, huh. Austria had the... Okay, so Austria gets the... Uh, takes the Great War on the historical accounts. Um, New Kingdom of... No, Serbs, Croats, uh, Slovenes. USA, nice speech. <laughs> Wait... 
There's no place like home in a Wilson 14. Wait, what? Oh, fucking United States is involved. When did they join? I've got to see that. When did they join? I must have missed that. Oh, it was okay. So it was June. Damn. So we probably could have gotten screwed by the United States bastards. Actually, no. I think that looked like it happened. Yeah. Okay. So all that pretty much happened before the United States were. Yeah. So yeah, I was right. That was before the United States got involved, so Europe did it in its problems by its by itself, essentially. The little entente. Oh, uh, so the okay, the so here comes the creation of the little entente, which essentially kept Bulgaria uh, in check. And it was something that was between uh, I think Yugoslavia, Greece, or. And Romania. I think that's what it was. Oh, and Czechoslovakia. I forgot about them too. Yep, and then problems with the Czechoslovakian Legion. The Coalition Front. Okay. Oh, so David Lloyd George is in uh, as the PM, looks like. Abdication of Vihelm the Second. I'm not going to pronounce that. So Frederick Herbert, and then now we got a second, the second industrial revolution. Uh, the 1920s saw a period of unprecedented industrial growth, known as the second industrial revolution. Uh, the industrial nations of the world saw the uh, conclusion of the major shift in their primary energy source from coal to oil, as well as providing cheaper and more ab ab abundant energy which greatly <laughs> stimulated growth, economic growth, sorry for stuttering. This shift had import, uh, important geopolitical consequences. Many consumer goods, such as cars and radios, were produced uh, for the first time on an industrial scale, especially in the United States, where new highways and suburban home developments sprang up to accommodate the growing economic output. The combination of inexpensive chemical fertilizer and mechanized harvesting saw agricultural productivity surge in many regions of the world, providing the basis of the 20th century's exp ex exponential leap in world population. So, industrial capacity bonus will lose uh, by negative 200%, and production bonus decrease by negative 200%. Can you say, ouch? <laughs> So we won't get those bonuses anymore. Okay. But that was uh, an interesting uh, conclusion there for the uh, for the war. And, um, of course, uh, you know, we still got screwed, or, and that I mean we, I mean Italy, uh, got screwed out of the war. So I'm not really surprised. Though I figured. Not sure. Wonder if I can bring up the London Pact to uh, Britain there. But then again, um, who knows? I'm not sure what to make of it now at this point. I mean, we did get screwed overall. I'm not sure if it was because the United States was uh, finally decided to ally itself, or something else uh, influenced it. So. What can you say? Uh, I'm going to upgrade infantry right now to 1918 levels. Uh, this means I can uh, decrease this. I know the money output won't be huge. Um, I got plenty of it. I'm not too worried about the money output. Uh, that means I can also do some upgrading. Okay, let's see. I put some troops on the borders here. Uh, let's just keep it going though. Okay, oh, event. Uh, joining the League of Nations. Oh boy. <laughs> here we go. 
Uh, the League of Nations, L.O.N., <laughs> was the intergovernmental organization founded as a result of the per Paris Peace Conference that ended World War I and was the precursor to the United Nations. The League of Nations, the League was the first permanent international security organization uh, whose principal mission was to maintain world peace at its greatest extent from uh, 28 September 1934 to 23rd February 1935. It had 58 members. The League's primary goals, as stated in its convenient, included uh, preventing war uh, through collective security disarmament and settling international disputes through the negotiation and arbitration. Other issues in this uh, and related treaties included labor conditions, a just treatment of native inhabitants, trafficking and persons and drugs, arms trade, uh, global health, prisoners of war, and protection of minor of minorities in Europe. Uh, do I want to piss off everybody? Be like, oh, belligerents of Portugal. What the hell? <laughs> if I chose that so the belligerents of Portugal increased by 10%? Seriously? the hell? That must be a bug. Uh, not sure. A national descent increased by 2%. Uh, I can print that off easily though. Do I want to piss off? Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, oh, why'd you choose that? I'm actually going to embrace the United Nations. All the nations. Yeah, I'll join the UN. Oh boy. Italy and the Allied with, uh, had been allied with the Germans and Austro Hungarian Empire since 1882 as a part of the Triple Alliance. However, the nation had its own designs of Austrian territory in Taranto, Isteria, and Dalma the Dalmatia. Uh, Dalma yeah, Dalmata. Dalmatia. <sighs> anyway, Rome had a secret uh, had a secret 1902 pact with France, effectively nullifying its alliance. At the start of hostilities, Italy refused to commit troops, arguing that the Triple Alliance was a defensive, and that Austria-Hungary was an aggressor. Austria-Hungarian government began negotiations to secure Italian neutrality, offering the French colony of Tunis in Tunisia in return. The Allies made a counteroffer in which Italy would receive the South Triol, uh, Julian March, and territory of the Dalmatian coast after the defeat of Austria Hungary. This was formalized with the Treaty of London. By the Treaty of London. Further, incur further encouraged by the Allied invasions of Turkey in April 1915, Italy joined the Triple Entente and declared war on Austria Hungary on 23rd May. Military, the Italians had n numerical superiority, and we proved that. This advantage, however, was lost, not only because of the difficult terrain in which fighting took place, which was true, uh, but also because, because of the strategies and tactics employed. French uh, Field Marshal Luigi Cardona, a staunch proponent of the frontal assault, had dreams of breaking into the Sylvania, Sylvania Plateau. I'm not going to pronounce that province, <laughs> threatening Vienna. <laughs> it was a Napoleonic plan which had no realistic chance of success in the age of barbed wire, machine guns, and indirect artillery fire combined with hilly and mountainous terrain. After the war, Italy failed to annex Dalmatia, which, which had been promised by Britain and France in the Treaty, uh, in the Lo Treaty of London to induce the Italy to join the war. And had to fight some war, uh, some more years to annex the cities of of Fimune. Uh, of Maine. Uh, sorry for mispronouncing that. Uh, which had an Italian population, and this led to uh, several Italian politicians to speak out of the mutil uh, mutilated victory. With the annexation of Estrada, Trento, Al Altio, Aldege, and Triol, Trieste, Zara, and some Dalmatian islands, Italy. Uh, substan uh, Italy had a substantial territory. Yeah. 
I guess. So we're going to leave our alliance. Natural descent is changed by negative 10. And reduce our activity. Activity most. Reduce our naval activities to 70 at most. And then reduce our. Huh. Great. Great. So we got dicked. And Greece declares war on. Ah, oh, okay. So this is the Greco Turkish War now. I'm actually going to kind of help him out a little bit. Okay, so they're doing that. Okay. You know what? There you go, uh, Greece. I'll give you the give you those two. I'll help you out. There you go. So I'll help out Greece there. Air Force too large. Oh boy. Air Force is too large, huh? Great. Uh, we can't sustain an Air Force with more than one squadron of a type. And guess what? I only have a s air force squadron, one squadron of a type. Wait, and they're considering that too large, apparently. Okay, so apparently those pushed out. I don't know why. I actually will spend that. So we got screwed in the end. At the very end. Yeah. That was not pleasant. I wonder if I should help out Greece with their with the Ottoman Empire. Huh. Probably should. I mean look at this. I mean they got territory out of the Ottoman Empire. Look at that. I only got this part? When I was promised this part too? Bastards. Fucking crooked allied pricks. Oh, yeah, we're in February. Ha! <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, I'll cut the video off right here. It's been a year. And plus, uh, I guess because I was in January, I was pretty much ranting on about the conclusion of the war. I can only imagine what this is going to lead to now. God, I can only imagine. So now we got territorial clans on the United, on UK, France, Greece, Indonesia, and the Kingdom of Serbs, Croatia, and Slovenia. So uh, in the next video, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Actually, uh, leave a comment. Uh, you know, give me some ideas of what I should be doing. Uh, we we got what we wanted. Um, pretty much unified uh, Venice overall, the Venetian territory. Uh, let's see. So we got we pretty much got all of Italy uh, unified on that, but we did not get our claims on uh, the Dalmatian coast. Um, the Dom yeah, I think it's Dalmatian. I don't know. I'm probably going to get someone's going to you know, say no. That's not right. Anyway, uh, but we got screwed out of the out of the uh, out of the coast there, and then so what now? I, I did embrace the UN. I did or the you and the uh, League of Nations for a reason. Kind of went that little bit of historical route, but I might do something ahistorical. And you can see here, Bulgaria. Actually, that's not Bulgaria. That's actually uh, Yugoslavia territory. I'm not going to say Kingdom of Serbs, Croatia, and Slovenia. I'm just going to say Yugoslavia. Fuck it. Uh, it looks like they're going to have any partisan issues there. Hungary's having partisan issues there. Okay. Germany's having their partisan issues up there, and, and look at that. Yep, they got the tri color. That I actually do like, prefer this tri color. Anyway, um, so now they're in the, the pretty much the Weimar Republic at this point. Uh, China's having their issues, and then of course you got the United States, you got Mexico down here. So yeah, do leave a comment. Um, tell me what I should be doing at this point uh, since the War, war is over with. Um, I'm actually, I'm, my current plan and idea is to help out Greece with the Ottoman Empire. Though, even though I don't really have much of a claim, 
Um, I can still probably help him out somehow in some fashion. Um, and then, you know, have I'm sure they're trying to go after Amanda. Yeah. Yeah, so they're trying to capture Istanbul, Adrianople, Gallipi, actually Constantinople. I'm going to say just say Constantinople. Fuck it. Uh, and then the, the pretty much the Anatolian coast here on the Bosphorus part. Okay, I'll probably give them some my, some of my islands back because these are pretty much useless islands at this point. There's not they're not producing crap for me. So, I might as well just give him that back as a good gold gesture. But yeah, um, anyway, I'll actually, we'll save it. And then, uh, so in the next video, I will figure something out in the post-war era of, of, uh, of this game. So, until then, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy.